we're starting another vlog. We're heading to Barnegat Light, which is in Long Beach Island in New Jersey. Am I right so far? Yeah. And Scott is going to do another ocean swim. And we'll see you when we get to the beach. Okay, we just got to the beach. I have to talk kind of loud because they're playing the YMCA and I don't want that to hit my copyright claims or anything, but I'm basically just chilling on the beach waiting for Scott to get to the finish line. It's like 6 o'clock now and the race doesn't even start till 6.30, so I doused my body in this. So hopefully I survive this. <laughs> Hey, 20 through 41. That's pretty fast for you. It's really fast. Nice the work. You have fun? Yeah, that's cool. That's a good race. They gave us all bags. I've got to pick up my bag. Okay. Looks like he had a good time. Okay, so I haven't vlogged since we were at the beach. A lot has happened since. I did post a video explaining all of this. But there's a couple things around the house I wanted to show you. We've I found a lot of new fake plants lately. So I've talked about the middle one. I found that at Marshall's, but these two like black potted, all fake, cannot keep things alive. Found those at Target. They were $4.99 a piece. They're really cute. Then, so I had bought this middle plant a while back at TJ Maxx, but I found these two potted ones today at TJ Maxx. And I feel like I love how everything goes together. I'm becoming an interior decorator. Other than that, not too much has been happening. This is my left-handed makeup look. I mean, not too bad for my first time. I don't think there's anything else new going on around the house though. We've been kind of busy the last few weekends. Nothing really exciting's happened recently that I can think of. So I'm gonna leave you with that. Maybe I'll show you some left-handed tasks at some point during this adventure with my flipper. So I haven't really been vlogging much. I switched over to the brace today out of the splint. It still hurts. My splint looks so gross though. Can I just tell you? <laughs> it looks like I wiped with this. Nope, that's just self tanner. <laughs> my splint is full of self tanner, so who's surprised though? I do feel like I don't know. I just feel like weird. This has definitely like messed with me mentally because anytime I try to do something, I have to use this arm and this arm is like hurting because I'm overusing it. It's the same thing that happened before my knee surgery. My left knee always hurt because I was over exerting. I was, I was overusing it to make up for my right knee. Now same thing's happening with my hands. So I had to run to Target this morning because we ran out of Clorox wipes. So I wanted to try these. The Everspring brand. I got the lemon and mint scent, but I liked that these are compostable. So let me know if you've used these. Do you like them? Is there another brand you prefer? I also grabbed this because so many of you recommended the peony scent. So I got the multi-surface cleaner. And one other thing I grabbed for the shower was this Clorox tub and tile scrubber. So it looks like it, you can scrub with it, but it also well, it says Clorox wipes, but it also looks like you can put one of the, it has a spot to like hook the wipes in and you can also attach like these kind of wipes onto it too, which I thought was interesting. It's just been a long week. And I even like filmed a video today and I like couldn't like form sentences I felt like and I was just so out of it. I already have like knee problems and like feel completely restricted because of that. And this, I just keep hearing people telling me that you know, it's just gonna keep coming back and I don't want that. Especially if this originally came from computer work, like my entire job is working on a computer. If you want to see something cute, we can go look at the cats. This is where they spend their days. Mario has his spot. That's why this is always like that, because that's Mario's spot and Luigi always sits in the little nook between these two cushions. Yeah, I guess that's all for this update. I did tons of online shopping while I was just stuck, not able to do much of anything. So maybe I'll be hauling some stuff in this video. <laughs> yeah, that's it for now. I just had a package delivered from Bath and Body Works. 
we have one soap left. And then I saw the soaps were on sale, plus there was a 20% off your total order coupon. So we got soaps. So I'll go through what we got really quick. We have Cotton and Freesia, Warm Autumn Glow. This one I got specifically for Halloween, but Perfect Pumpkin has a little kitty on it. Desert Hibiscus, Black Cherry Merlot, Sun Washed Citrus, Afternoon Apple Picking, Sugar Cookie, Strawberry Tart, and Cranberry Peach Prosecco. So we're locked and loaded for now at least. I wanted to show you guys some of my new Target finds. So I bought these jeans a couple weeks ago. They're the Wild Fable brand. I love how cheap, well, more on the affordable side Wild Fable is. But I also got these after I saw Jessica Braun's favorites video last month. And they are pretty freaking comfy for heeled shoes. So I'll try to link both of these down below. My top's new too, but it's from TJ Maxx. I can't link it, but I'll link these too. Okay, vlog. I just got a notification that someone is at my door. I hope it is a Scott because... I just filmed my margaritas and makeup video, and if it's not Scott, that's really creepy. Let's see. Well, the person's opening the door, so hopefully it's Scott. I'm so hungry. This dairy free week, it's killing me. I had a package show up yesterday from Madison and Mallory, which is the online boutique of 11th Gorgeous, which has, they have a YouTube channel here. But it was like an item I've been eyeing up for a while and it kept going out of stock. So I went on the wait list and like, I contemplated it and then I finally went in and did it. So let's see how it looks. And oh my God, I just realized the packaging is turtles. <laughs> so cute. I would say for an online boutique, their clothes are very affordable. So these are leggings, but they have like ripped knees. I've never had leggings with ripped knees before. So they feel like really good quality. Oh, they have like a little pocket here, but they're just black leggings with ripped knees. I, I don't know. They feel like um, more like athletic leggings than just like regular like casual leggings, which is cool. And I mean, I'm not gonna put them on right now, but I did get these. These came in the mail yesterday, but by the time the mail came, it came kind of late and I had to film my BoxyCharm video, which I knew that I was not going to be excited to post that video because I knew going in that I was getting that Becca powder that I just don't like and I knew that was gonna uh, make some people unhappy, which I was correct about, so that's been a fun morning to deal with. And yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to my grandparents' house later today to visit. Scott got a new job. I've been like keeping it in, but he finally put in his two weeks notice today. So I'm excited about that. So he hasn't been feeling well. We got Chinese food again last night because he wanted the chicken noodle soup again. And he's not been feeling great. So we'll probably celebrate once he's feeling better. And maybe once our dairy free week is over because I think he'd want something with cheese. I'm going to guess he's gonna want pizza. So we'll see. That is it for now. Oh, also today's like the first day I really have had zero motivation to sit down and record a video. So I don't know if I'm gonna do it today. I've been trying to really be filming at least one a day. I'm just not feeling it today. I don't know, we'll see. So we stopped at CVS this morning. I had to pick up a new one of these because it's fun dropping dollar, dollar bills, but my other one got like gross. So I had to like wash it and I like soaked it overnight and it's still drying and I needed something. But I saw this really cute little like beach kit there. I and I think it was on sale. A lot of the summer stuff was on sale. First of all, this little bag says, I need vitamin C. And it's like, I guess some like summery beauty essentials, but I thought it was cute. So I thought, let's look at it. Let's get it. Let's see what we got. That was, it was originally $14.99. It says it's a, over a $30 value. So it looks like we have some Sun Bum stuff. I don't think I've ever actually used anything from Sun Bum. So we have a three in one, leave-in products I'm not, so it says detangle condition and protect that actually sounds pretty cool and this is 1.5 fluid ounces that's a lot we also have spf 30 we have a sticker with the gorilla face <laughs> hair tie that says work less live more and then spf chapstick which i approve of so there's a face mask from okay this is a after sun cucumber sheet mask with aloe vera 
I actually have a couple aloe vera sheet masks. I do like them. From the creme shop, we have the Dead Sea Mud Mask. Cool. This is from Wet n Wild. This is their Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter in Gilded Glow. I don't know if that... Oh, it's glass. Very fancy. We also have the Beauty 360 After Sun Watermelon and Vitamin E Hydrogel Sheet Mask. And then a $3 off the new Maybelline Dream Urban Cover foundation which I've actually been considering so I mean it's not the most amazing thing in the world but it's a cute little set and I'm kind of really excited for all this sun bum to try out so that's my CVS haul see you guys later so Scott hasn't been feeling well so we have a rare occasion here where I'm cooking and I actually do have a chicken noodle soup recipe that I've been using for a while that I really like I can link it down below it's called like 30 minute chicken noodle soup it takes more than 30 minutes because we have to cut the veggies, but it's actually pretty fast. Got to cook in here. I'll show you it when it's done. And here she is, ready for Scott to eat. I have an Old Navy clothing haul. They're having like this big sale to free shipping. Grab some stuff. So the traditional Old Navy flip flops were on sale. So I grabbed a pair. Out of all the options that were still left for sale, I liked these the best. I don't remember what anything cost, but everything was pretty discounted. And I guess I can try to link stuff if it's still for sale. So this is a long sleeve shirt. It's like an athletic shirt, so it ties in the back. And then it has my favorite feature, the thumb loop. This is a tank I grabbed. I don't really have anything in this style. I don't know how, how I'm gonna feel about it, but it was basically like a lot of summery sale kind of they want to get the school closing this i grabbed because of jessica Brown. i feel like she inspired this entire sale she was wearing a i don't think it was this exact top but she's wearing a very similar top in one of her videos that was like this i never wear purple but we'll see how it looks on me no idea this is going to seem like something really weird that i've been looking for for a while but i have like one zip up hoodie and I can never find one at like a decent price. So I got one in this green color. It's like literally just a completely basic zip up hoodie. I think I got one piece of jewelry because I was like, like dollars away from free shipping. So I went to the jewelry since I assumed that would have some of the cheapest stuff. And I got these, I don't have anything like these, but they're like that turtley kind of pattern, these hoops. I believe this is the last item. I got a pair of pants. I would say, like, for the most part, all of my pants are either from Target or Old Navy. I forget what style these are. Yeah, these are Rockstar. And these are the ankle length Rockstar, and they have, like, some rips, and they're black. And that is my Old Navy haul. Hey, so Scott and I went to DSW because I got a coupon in the mail, and he needed sneakers, and the coupon was $10 off. And it came with another coupon for a free backpack. And it's like a really cool looking backpack. He found shoes he liked. They didn't have his size, so we ordered them. So the backpack will come in the mail. So I'll share that when it gets here. But I'm excited. But they had one of these over there. So the candles were on sale. So I bought two candles for fall. I love fall, but like I'm not mentally ready for fall, but I'm mentally ready to smell fall, if you know what I'm saying. So I got marshmallow pumpkin latte. Mmm, I can smell this all day. And then I got the Ever Classic Leaves. Look how cute the packaging is on this one. Mmm, that smells so good. But yeah, I feel like two candles is a lot of self-control. I don't know about you, but I did it. I did it myself. I even asked Scott if he wanted to pick one out. And he said no. Because Scott hates candles. <laughs> Imagine living with me and being a person who hates candles. That's his level of tolerance. I will say, I notice candles get blown out a lot when I'm not in the room. 40 pounders. Get okay. The one down. This is, okay. This is like the most hauled out vlog ever because I've literally done nothing for two weeks except show things in this video. But we just went to Target and Walmart and we're gonna show them what we got, right? Do you wanna show them your big, your literal big purchase first? Yeah, I just got this dumbbell set. It's like gym. 
Yeah, for the gym. It's just like 40 pounds. It's, uh, there's what four 2.5 pound plates and four 6 pound plates. And you can kind of just like, you know, do, I guess, anywhere from 5 pounds to 40 pounds on a... And that's from Walmart. Yeah, this is from Walmart. It's a Gold's Gym uh, brand. And, uh... Yeah, I'm trying to get a couple other things from Walmart to add to the gym downstairs. Yeah, so you're gonna order those online. Maybe we can film setting that up when it comes. Yeah. Because we also haven't shown them the bench that we ordered from Amazon. You gonna be okay? Yeah, and there's another bench that I wanna get from Walmart. Now to show the rest of the haul? Yeah. I guess we'll just do Walmart first. So, Scott picked this out. So they had fall decorations and even though it's not fall yet, I got excited and I looked at everything and I was very controlled. And I picked out one thing out of everything. So Scott does not like wreaths, which is understandable. So I found something for the front door and he even approved. So I got this. I think this is nice. It's simple enough, but it's also so welcoming. There was also a clearance rack and I found some new ears for the channel. Check these out, they're holographic Where's and pink. She? So, continuing on with Walmart. I never buy clothes from Walmart, but I did it today, and I was excited to try some stuff. So they have these tanks that were like a dollar something, like a dollar sixty, so I grabbed a gray one. And I have always wanted a robe, and I've never gotten one. And I got a robe today, and I'm <laughs> excited. So it's this little gray robe. I've never had a robe before. Cute. I grabbed a pack of bralettes. These are from Fruit of the Loom. It's just three bralettes. Cute. Then I got this. This is like a flannel hoodie thing. The biggest fan. Scott doesn't like flannel, so you can't take his advice. But Scott helped me pick out the color of this one. There was a bunch of shirts like this, but we decided on this color, right? Right? Yes, we did actually. One thing we got from Walmart, pack of hangers. Now we can talk Target. So the most amazing thing happened to Target, these. So this is a six ounce bag of Frisky's Party Mix, the Kahuna Crunch flavor. There were only two flavors to choose from and they only had the big bags like this. But I wanted to buy this, are you listening? I wanted to buy this because there was a cartwheel deal specifically for Frisky's he party mix. He smells them. <laughs> for some reason, this rang up and didn't register in Target's system. And the girl was like, do you know how much it costs? And I was like, no. And she's like, it'll just a dollar then. And I was like, wow. For a dollar? This is definitely not a dollar worth of cat <clears throat> treats. Bought a box of Mario food. We don't really need to talk about it. Mario is a bougie cat and will only eat fancy cat food. We got Scott a little something for his new job. Can you say I already said it in this video, so. Yep, there you go. Got Scott some really cool pants because I insisted he needed these. So this Denizen, is that how you say it? Denizen? Levi's brand. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gotten shorts from this brand at Target, but they have these pants there in the men's section. They keep and spelling they it so weird. So stretchy and comfy. And I was like, Scott, you need these. So now he has them. Scott also picked out a shirt for himself. Do you want to model your shirt? Show them your shirt. Show them your shirt. Tell them about your shirt. I'll let you present it. It's a long sleeve shirt that says Ness on it. It says U.S. United States. It's very soft too. It's lightweight. Yeah. Very nice. I'll link them down below if you guys like it. And then I grabbed two shirts that were in the ladies' sale section. The first is from a New Day, and it's just this white shirt. It's like um a half length sleeve. It's not like three quarters, but it was only three dollars and ninety six cents. So. And then this is actually a shirt I had been eyeing up there for a while and it wound up on the sale rack. It wasn't like the biggest discount. It was still $10.48, but patience sometimes is worth it because then you save $5. And that was the amazing haul. 
Oh, are we done? Yay! Yay! What are you watching? Tell the people. Do you have any good movies you've watched lately? Any good recommendations for the folk? Yeah, I watched... I guess they were both Here's Quentin Tarantino movies, Seafull Eat, and I watched Glorious Bastards the second time, which is also Quentin Tarantino, and then, but the, the second one that I was talking about was... Why are you on a Quentin? They're on, I don't, I don't know, but they're on Netflix right now. It was The Hateful Eat, and... Excellent. But I want to watch uh, Jackie Brown, her Jackie Brown's game, which is... Uh, Quincy another Quentin Tarantino movie, but whatever. Luigi, do you want to come say hi to everyone? I'm going to go get Luigi. Where'd they go? Ooh, oh, along comes the Mario. Do you want to tell me if you like these treats? Here, try it right here, it's right here. Mario, it's right here. You want the treats? Mario, it's right here. Mario, right here. Why do I have the treats? Can you just be in charge of making treat sounds? <laughs> treat, treat, treat a leaf. Treat a little, little leaf. Got it. Says, well, I'm here. I can have the treats. The cat family's here. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look who I found. Treat a little leaf. Yeah, treat a little leaf. Oh, God, Mario's rubbing his cheeks on the camera. Mario. Here you go. It's right here. It's right here. And it's, is it Luigi approved? He doesn't even chew them, he swallows them whole. He's such a cutie. Such a cutie. All right, good night.